Hello viewers, welcome to the Pharmacist Online. Today in this video I will explain what is pulse oximeter, how we can use at home for measuring the blood oxygen saturation, blood perfusion index and heart rate. So here with me a bureau company pulse oximeter as you can see here this is the turn on off button and it is a battery operated device. You can install batteries here and then you can use anywhere. Now which finger is suitable for the pulse oximeter? You can use any finger of your hand but most suitable is the middle finger. Now let me turn it on as you can see here. As it's turned on you will keep your finger inside between the light, red lights emitting from the emitter here. Keep the finger here and this will start measuring blood oxygen saturation. Now here you can also measure the blood perfusion index by pressing this button. What is the perfusion index? Perfusion index is the ratio of the pulsatile blood flow to the non-pulsatile blood in peripheral tissues. Now let me explain you what is the normal oxygen saturation. The normal oxygen saturation for a healthy person is from 95% to 100%. Below than 95% or even in more severe cases below than 90% need medical attention. And how we can use this pulse oximeter for heart patient in home, asthmatic patient, COPD patient and even pneumonia patient and especially nowadays in COVID-19 we can use this device for COVID positive patient. For example, if for the COVID positive patient, the oxygen saturations come down from 90. So then you have to seek for medical attention and maybe the physician in the hospital, they will consider a supplementary oxygen for that patient also and will keep him under observation. Now the same case for asthmatic patient, pneumonia patient, if the blood oxygen saturations come down below the 90%, then he should seek for the medical attention. The same for heart patient, if their blood oxygen saturations fell down from the 90, then they should visit a hospital. Now let me explain the mechanism of this pulse oximeter. As you can see here, here is, is a red light emitter and another side there is a receiver. When this infrared light passes through the tissue, so this measures the level of oxygenated blood or hemoglobin and shows the result here. So the use a pulse oximeter at home for the patients having heart diseases, respiratory diseases and especially for COVID-19 patient is highly important. So better to keep this device in home is we keep the thermometer in the houses. The price of the pulse oximeter depends on the company. There is a lot of company so you can check online even also and you will get a more suitable device for yourself. Now let me explain the limitation of these devices. There are some limitations. For example, if there is color on your nails or there is henna or any other color on your finger, so that will affect the blood oxygen saturation result. The best method is to remove any color or varnishes from the nail or the finger and wash your finger before with normal water, not with hot water or cold water because that will affect the oxygen saturation result. And one last thing about the oxygen saturation level, even the medical health practitioner they consider above the 90% is a normal oxygen saturation level. So if the oxygen saturation in the blood become lower than the 90%, then you have to seek for the medical assistance. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share with your family and friends. Thank you so much.